Welcome to Professional Fish Keepers. My name is Daniel Nestorio, and this is my aquarium store. So let me let me give you a little tour of the store. I'll probably give you a little bit of uh, how this store started and what's going on. Basically, an aquarium store is a work in progress. There's always always something to do, improve, and you're always changing. Uh, so this side right here was the first bay. So we have two bays, this side and the new side. So, so right here, uh, the show tank, it's a boat tank, and over there there's the frag tank. Uh, there was a lot less stuff before. On this side I have the dry goods. This wall used to be the saltwater wall, but we converted it to fresh water. So this side basically is fresh water, except, except for the coral tanks. So let me show you. So I've been trying to do this video for the longest time and then actually today I do have some time which is a bliss because I'm always struggling by not having time. So right here when you come in this is a Red Sea tank S650. It was set up but then we moved it because we're always improving the store but we're going to start it again with a fresh new look on this side I got the discus tank so when you come in there's fresh water and salt water so these are the the discus right here and it's a planted tank with discus all right let's keep going we got this is the the dry goods wall that's the boat tank right there it's a bare bottom tank and then on this side we got the frags this is the the b the, the wall all the way up there and there's more dry goods here and we got rock substrate um this tank right here that this is where this is somewhere is where we usually keep uh, the more expensive freshwater fish like this thousand uh, dollar gar right there that's a, a platinum gar so super cool we also have our flower horns there's some knife fish some ghost fish there's a really cool um tiger tiger knife fish right there little baby flower horn right there so this is the fresh water wall which used to be salt water these are the live bears betas and then cichlids so a lot of this uh, these are more cichlids right here these are our feeders we use red sea salt now which we mix and we sell on that uh, water station this is a, a fish hospital system that's the fragging station right there. So everything here, the space is super optimized. Those are the plants. Inside over there is a big, fil a big, a big filtration room, which I will show you. Uh, natural seawater right there, and customers can come in, and then they have the access through their RO water, mix salt water with Red Sea. And then we got our freezers. Two double doors, double, double, single filtration room there you are guys so this is my massive RO unit that's a little backup just in case but this is this RO unit makes about 1500 gallons of water a day so that's where I mix my salt I use Red Sea only the best that's that's the RO and then I got everything kind of splitting around so it tops off at the store this system was running the salt water now it's running fresh water and believe it or not I actually have a protein skimmer right right there running the fresh water so it's actually bringing more oxygen um, it skins a little bit though when I add salt you can add salt to prevent uh, eek for example fresh water eek big UV sterilizer so let's start with these systems right here this system right here that you see it's an invert invertebrate system because this system those are the two returns right there. The water comes in this way and then cascades all the way down to the drain line. So there's two separate tanks. There's one tank here and another tank here and then the water goes into the sump that way. 
and this is all made of glass look at this a beautiful scotch fairy dress Alright, that side we got like a softy um, uh, 220 gallon tank of soft corals so just to give idea the soft coral tank can be something nice later on I want to talk about each uh, system individually so this oh let me turn on the white light so I use this system I got an in uh, algae here I got clams over there starfish it's a beautiful queen angel but this queen angel right there you can see some lymphocysts lymphocyst you see so that it's nothing really bad it's like a wart on a person and with time they will just fall off as long as you keep them happy and with space to swim and food uh, those warts will just uh, fall off so it's called lymphocyst it's a cyst massive starfish we've been try testing those uh, that starfish over there that's a general star uh, there's another one right there so I've been testing them to see how bad are they really with corals which they are not that's this is the seahorse tank with the gem tank right there that's uh, seahorses they, go in, they grab themselves in that chain and um, so this is the colony tank for now because I'm getting a lot of coral I'm trying to frag all these and this will be another frag tank and over there I might put on that side I might put some um, some colonies yeah debating um, so this system 300 and the 200 and another 200 this is all connected so three four five seven hundred gallons right here now the crown the jewel crown that the main reason quarantine one so this I take care of one type of parasite will be flukes. So fish will stay fish when they first come. If there's nothing else crazy happening, they will come here. And then they will go to this side and one week there or two weeks and then two or more weeks here and they're all set. I gotta get the little sign saying fully quarantined and we go from there. Each of these systems work independently. So this is about 1700 gallon it's about 2500 gallons right here where we can have the fish uh, separated uh, without put space to swim if they need to swim so these are the quarantines um, let me show you let me show you the, the filtration room big filtration room See? that's my RK2 uh, skimmer big UV sterilizer air pump all this works with sand filters. I do love sand filters. God bless the sand filters because I don't have to use freaking filter socks. That's my bio tower right there where biological filtration happens with bio balls. 200, uh, 200 and something gallons. Some. Now, this is the quarantine one filtration system, bio tower, protein skimmer. Uh, again, uh, my. Uh, sand filter, UV sterilizer, chiller, a bunch of other stuff. Our, these vents are the natural natural seawater uh, uh, vets. That's where, because we sell natural seawater, I love natural seawater. It's pretty much all that I use here at the store. Because if I can have natural, I'll use natural, why not? I do love red sea salt. If I didn't have natural seawater, I will use natural sea, uh, red, uh, I will use red sea salt but I got natural so I'll use that and then this is the last but not least I guess this is the the packing station this is where we pack our, our fish this is where I have my brine shrimp my copepods over there this is one of the last things that we did we did this whole wall with uh, tank kits small tank kits uh, my next plan is actually setting up this whole wall with red sea tanks the reefers and E series S series now and then the other last addition was this again this shelf on this side where we keep the, our high-tech stuff like 
radions, gyres, AI, LEDs, uh, testing equipment, stuff like that. Right here is where we do our water testing station. And that's it. So it's been a big journey. We've been open for almost four years and we doubled the size pretty much in less than two years and it's been a lot of work trying to keep my life as simple as possible I'm, no I'm trying to do these videos and um, let's 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 go from here and everything hopefully will be uh, great and so keep an eye on the YouTube channel I'll try to do as many videos as possible this was a small tour, uh, store tour and then I'll show you more systems in detail as we go alright guys thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time bye Oh, don't forget to subscribe and like and share and uh, if you like the store let me know in the comments uh, if you want to pass by pass by I'm usually here if not one of my employees will be here thank you for watching